what is up today we'll be playing uh them's fighting herds this is a fighting game made it was a uh, originally started as a fan project but became official uh lauren foss helped create this game and i think that's pretty cool it started out as fighting as magic some people might know what that is i played it during that stage so i'm really happy to start this and um play it through uh, with the, you know, it was actually really fun mechanics and stuff, so. So I'm gonna play on intermediate. Alright, so. Note here, I screwed up the first, uh, video. So, I'm actually gonna, this is me from the future, talking to you, talking in the past. Uh, I've been through, like, at least chapter two, so I'm actually gonna replay it, so sorry if... Nothing seems new to me, but I'll still go through this so that you guys can see what's happening. <clears throat> Rain City, capital to the nation of the Tundra. Just one of many nations in the world of Phonum. For the first time in countless generations, the Phonum Council of Ungulates has been reformed and now covens, convenes sorry, to discuss a matter of utmost urgency. Now you guys get to hear my voice acting that I did. Uh, fellow... Fellow ungulates, even an and odd toad alike, we, the appointed elders of the nations, are gathered here today to discuss the disturbing rumors that have been circulating across all of Phonum. And to bear witness, we have found a survivor. Murmur, murmur. Come, young foe. Uh, thank you, chief. Do not be frightened, small one. Tell us what you saw. Yes, ma'am. You see, I was back at home in the savannah just before dawn. I woke up early that morning when I felt a firefly tickle my nose. I chased it through the tall grass, just, you know, playing around. Anyway, it took me all the way to the watering hole, and that's when I saw them. Big, mean-looking creatures, black as night, but you could see through them, like ghosts. <gasps> that's what I said. They were like nothing I've ever seen before. They were four-legged, but their hooves were strange, soft and round with little points sticking out. The hair of their coats were long and thick and shaggy, almost like a bison. Why I never? They spoke to one another. Their voices were low and scratchy, like they had eaten thorns. I tried, but I couldn't understand. And then, then, yes, uh, tell what happened. One lifted its head, sniffed the air with its pointed nose. I was hidden in the grass. I know it was, but that's when they all whipped around and stared straight at me. The biggest one croaked, grass eater. <gasps> that's what I said. That's not a bad word, is it? Am I allowed to say that? Never mind that. What happened next? I ran. They came straight at me. I saw teeth, sharp like I've never seen before. I ran and ran until my legs almost gave out. But before I knew, they had me completely surrounded. There was drool coming out of their mouths and an awful smell. They, they growled at me. The key. They take us to the key. I, I thought I was a goner. But then, the dawn. A big beam of morning light hit them, and they turned to smoke. As the big one was fading away, he hissed in a way I could finally understand. The predator returns and we will be hungry. Thank God, just blown away in the wind. I told my chief what happened. Her face and stripes turned white. That's when she brought me here. As you see, thank you for your story, young one. Consul Chief, the foe's account lines up with the other reports. She is lucky to remain unscathed. Indeed. And now we know they're looking for a key. And now you, you can no longer deny it, Anga. The legends are true. Oh, you and your legends again. Don't be a fool, old man. This key they seek is real. The legends must be, too. Oh, my voice is so bad. Somewhere, there's a mystic door leading our ancient enemies, the predators at bay. You are a fool if you do not heed this warning. I promise we will find the bravest, strongest, most skilled amongst us to find the key. We must name a champion. A children's fairy tale or no, I admit this threat must be taken seriously. We shall find this key, wherever it is, whatever it is. After years of discord, I know that the ungulates of Phonum will not agree on a single champion, so we must settle this as we did in times of old. Fellow ungulates, hear my decree. Antelopes from the valley, white tails of the forest, Gotani of the islands, Besson of the plains, Equins of the steppes, and all the other proud nations of Phonum. Choose your champions, send them to the quest for this legendary key. 
It will be their duty to battle against each other, horn against hoof against antler, until one champion and one alone remains. However, that ungulate is is that ungulate is will have Oh wait, never <laughs> Whoever that ungulate is will have proven themselves worthy to be protector of Phonum. <laughs> Our gate keykeeper. I struggled with that sentence so badly, oh my god. We must find the strongest of all to face this threat, for if we fail, all of Phonum shall surely perish. Oh my god. Oh, bad, bad voice acting. Very bad voice acting. Champion of the Prairie. <sighs> yeah. I'll tell you now, it took me a lot of tries to get through a lot of this, a lot of the game. It's actually pretty difficult. That's why I did intermediate. <sighs> it's just because I'm new to this game. Is that you, daughter? Yeah, Pa, it's me. Why are you hiding my calf? Uh, well, I know how much you like to your, <laughs> how much like, how much you like your contemplating time, but I wanted to talk. I can't do the voice. Come on now, let's talk. So, I know you said we cattle kind ain't supposed to listen to those li who lived outside the prairie, but I heard something big's going on. There's been a decree, Pa, from the Council of Ungulates. Yeah, no. You do? I'm the leader of this herd, my calf. It's my duty to know such things. Then what's happened, Pa? Why don't we take a pick? Why, why, why do we have to pick a champion and what for? The mule deer fawns are saying the most terrible things. You know, Arizona? I think a lot about what it means to be wanderers like us. Moving from place to place wherever the grass decides to grow. Out here in the open air with no home except the wagons we haul on the hills we roam. Wouldn't trade for anything. Them city folks inside their walls only concern themselves with what's in front of their noses, the old stories. They still come out of their history books. But our kind, Arizona, we folk of the land, we, we remember with our voices. Gather round, everyone. Look at everyone. Aw. <clears throat> Yellow bellies. <clears throat> In days of old, all the hoofed folks of Phonum roamed together as one big old herd. And the world, well, it was one big old field where the grass was ours for the grazing. We had a peace that lasted long as the tunnels of ten packs of prairie dogs. But times, they're always changing. Yes, sir. You see, when we were, there were other animals of Phonum, little ones. They had fur like us, but instead of hooves, they had gangly, clawed toes. Now, funny looking feet ain't usually cause for worry, but something else was their teeth. And as time passed, their teeth grew long and sharper than the thorns of buffalo bear than the thorns of buffalo berry branches. And with chompers like that, well, <laughs> I guess eating just wasn't gonna cut it. The predators ripped our piece away quicker than a dandelion seed in a twister. But we didn't stand by like frightened jackrabbits to be gottled up like a butter biscuit. Nope. We fought back. So many of us were lost, we were sure if we been better off just letting our, us, ourselves be their supper, but soon we weakened those varmints well enough. That's when a mystic from the desert land stepped in. Using her great power, she banished the uh, predators to some other place, locking them away. So that key is everyone's talking. The key everyone's talking about. That's the prophet key. Well, I'll be. So you have been paying attention to my stories. The predators were gone, but so was our peace. Our great herd of one broke into many. We were weakened and we were scared. Cause them predators were locked up. Cause though them predators were locked up, we weren't for they weren't for good. They weren't for good. Ah! <clears throat> the monsters swore as they were sucked up into the funnel of the deep dark nothingness that they'd be back and they'd be hungry. So, my compatriots, who amongst you among you will volunteer to face these hooligans? Who will be champion of the prairie? Yeah, look at her. Aw. I will, Paul. You? No, you're too young. Not too young to love my home. I'll do anything for a purry, Paul. And I'll phone them too. I know we don't get along with folk beyond our lands, but they deserve to live free, just as we do. I won't allow it. I said no. What? I ain't saying yes. Close off, woman. Oh, for jeez. You, you shush. Our woman here has proven her worth, don't you know? She may be small, but yeah, sure, you betcha, her heart is bigger than the prairie itself. What's that now? Well, I suppose to be the leader. 
Oh, there, there. You sure are the biggest, strongest bow cattle kind has ever known. Let's not be silly now. Arizona with the prairie. Child of Purple Mountains Majesty, Amber Ways of Grain. I dub the champion of the cattle kind. Now go, oh, oh, did I skip something? Now go and save the world. Kiss. You little sugar booger. I'll make you proud, Ma. And you too, Pa, I swear. Yeah. Listen close now. Get yourself north up to Rain City where the deer folk live. They got a museum there with all sorts of treasures from the old days. Bet you'll find some clues about the key. Thanks, Ma. I'm gonna get there right away. Not a moment to lose. Aw. Don't pout, honey. I believe in our daughter. Are you two just a lover? And that's our character, Arizona. Personally, one of my favorite characters. She has some really cool uh, combos. She has a, her uh, niche is that she has a lasso, which is pretty fun. Oh look, she stows her, ign ignore the outfit. It's a, uh, from, yeah. All right, time to hit the trail. Man, say, here I come. Yeah. I kind of grabbed some accessories on the way. So this is gonna be a bit of like a speed run then. I still do like the talking with some of the characters though. Maybe I should take a shortcut. What is that? I don't remember Pa saying anything about mysterious glowing clouds on the middle of nowhere. Those runes mark the trailhead of a heroic path. Follow the trail up the cliff. Uh, sure. actually gonna take this left path because I think I missed this on my first playthrough. Look at that, it seems I found some hidey hole. No way down without breaking leg though. Better look around some more. Another stone, let's give it a go. Yeah, the platforming in here actually screwed me up a bit too. Yeehaw! Got this champion stuff roped up in a bag. What is this? Oh, okay. I do like the idea though of uh, having a top down platformer. A top down ad adventure and a platformer. Howdy there, cowgirl. Thought I heard who's a coming. Should be nice to have some company. Don't be shy now. I'm Madison, nice to meet you. Howdy, Madison. Name's Arizona. Well, aren't you just a bundle of joy? If you don't mind me asking, how'd you get up here exactly? And see you come through the main road. Oh, uh, there's a main road? What? Well, you're telling me you climbed all the way up the side of that cliff? You have built or something? Well, how'd you get here? Seems alright. You seem alright, Cat. I'll let you in on a little secret. Promise not to tell no one. <laughs> Double negative. Promise. Over yonder's where you go the other way, of course. Uh, other way it comes out, but you can't get there unless you go through your secret cave. It's one of them places you can't get to unless you already know where it is. <laughs> Say now, aren't you a minis? Aren't you a minis calf? I thought I recognized your mama's poofy hair, as sure as the sun shines. What you doing all the way here by doing <laughs> way out here by yourself? How to get to Rain City? Rain City? Why, bless my bonnet, sure a quinky dink if I ever heard one. Was headed there to sell some grain and milk. Ever since the decree went out, they're buying up as much as they can get. I'll show you that dear folks city ain't nothing but a slum of soup bags, but you're probably giving away th they're probably giving away their soap. Times are what they are. What kind of business do you have there, cowgirl? Long story, can I get directions? Well, hold up, ain't easy. Fastest way for is over this here gap. I'm waiting for the prong pronghorns to come by and fix the bridge just a day or two more. Dang it all, now what? I gotta get to the rain city. Hey now, no need to fret. We'll figure out something out. Or like that, you end up with more wrinkles than a raisin by the time you're my age. Yeah, you're right. There's gotta be another way to do I don't know about that, unless you count the tunnel. Tell you what, why don't you set up camp here with me? Might be something, so somebody will come by in the morning. Fix the bit, sure why not. It's a sleepover, how could you set up? Don't worry about the bread. 
I wanted the bread too, and I never got it. Sigh. Champion of the Prairie, I'm way too excited to sleep. Gosh darn broken bridge, I've two shots away from trying that tunnel. Trying that tunnel. <gasps> it's one of them. <gasps> hey, you're... <gasps> go, go. No way they're already here. Wait, I need to go grab the bread. I actually missed this on my first playthrough. Madison's bread, been staring at this loaf all night. Maybe I'll just have a taste. Give it a lick. Haha. <laughs> there we go. So I did miss another thing, actually. Um. So I need two more collectibles. Okay. So I do still. Yes. Okay, I still have all the other stuff. Hey, wait! Yeah, I miss that chest. Don't pause say these beasts. Didn't say pause say these beasts. We were supposed to be hunting. Hunters. Never thought I'd be the one doing the hunting. <gasps> uh oh. Oh. Fight time. Fight time. Fight time. Alright. Oops. I'm still not good at this game. <laughs> Stand now, Paul, but I can't let those monsters run free and phone them again. I keep finding everyone's counting on me. Dang it, there's gotta be more to here. Is that water right here? Yeah, actually, in my first playthrough, I walked around for a bit. I didn't even know that you could jump down there. It seems stupid now that I think about it. Oh no, that one's sleeping. Hmm, maybe I can sneak up on him. I could have just ignored this, actually, but whatever. Oh my god, I missed, even with the setup. Let's head down. Oh, I can't get down here. Oh, uh, okay. Let's head down this way. Oh, never mind. Oh god. Golly, this is a bit of squeeze. Gotta keep on lower, so I hit my noggin. Ugh. <laughs> Surprisingly, this one took me a while. I'm not used to short hopping with a stick. Frick! Oh, we made it. Okay, we're good. Yeah, because I play Smash, but, you know, short hopping with a stick's kind of trash. I use a button to jump. Nice, that wasn't so hard. I'm just kind of running through this now. Should be too far behind. How do we get through this? Do we even get through this? Oh wait, we can go this way. Oops. Oh, we're in a fight. Okay. Oh my god, I keep missing that. Oh, I missed my freaking special. No. Oh. Uh oh. Raw, raw launcher. All right, let's not miss the collectibles now. So I've never been down here actually. I kind of missed the spot because I'm I'm bad at exploring. Whoa, yeah, this is new to me. This is gonna take everything I got. Here goes nothing. Challenge to climatic crag. Uh oh. Short hop. Super jump. No, super jump. Uh oh. Jump. Oh! I died. Oh, we're good. Jump. 
Oh, I got a super jump. I see. That's, I don't know. There we go. Short hop. Oh, probably should have short hop that. Oops. That's not a good idea. Normal hop or short hop. Short hop's not good. Never mind, it doesn't reach. Normal hop. This one's a short hop. Unless I walk off. And short hop. There we go. Cool. Whew, I did it. Why did I come back here? Oh, this is a different spot. <laughs> Cactus hat. What's over here? <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, I came from the left? What's up here? Whoa. Ah. Did I say the left? I meant the right. I don't know my directions, apparently. Alright, we're gonna actually ignore, ignore this guy. Well, dust my, my dust my dangeries. That's a new one. Don't like the look of this little one. This one one bit. Hey, quit it! Whoa, what in Sam's hell is this? I, the, I feel great just like that. Must be some sort of magic. Better keep my eye peeled for more one of one of those things. Is that from my stomp? Hey, this cave is flimsier than a pile of wet weeds or all that practice been paying off. But now what? 